Cool, so I'm Tim from It's Alloy and I'm here today with my good friend Aaron. Aaron, what's your name, uh, Muddy? Aaron Brown. People Aaron. may have seen me around on everybody's YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Aaron has ventures. <laughs> he has been with us for how many years now have you been? Ooh, it's coming on three years now. Three years or so. Two and a half, three years, yeah. something like that. And, yeah. we're, and we're here today to talk about your Ford Ranger. The big rig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to go through all the details, find out what it was like as a fetus, all yeah. the way to what <laughs> yeah. it looks like today, mate. Ooh. It's been through a few changes, mate. Yeah, absolutely. So originally, before the Mitz days, mm -hmm. I was a chippy. Yep. As some people might know, but um, that's what I originally bought it for. So yep. I bought it through the company. Yeah. And it was made to tow a two-ton builder's trailer. Yeah, perfect. And tow all the tools around site yeah. to site. Yeah, yeah. So that's what it re originally was purchased for. Yeah. And then, you know, as it happens, yeah. you slowly get into it. And yeah, yeah. Next minute, it's six years later, yeah. <laughs> and, and it, it looks, looks like, like this. this. Yeah, yeah, so it's absolutely. gone through so many different changes along the way. Yeah, perfect. But yeah, it was originally bought just as a tow vehicle, basically. And was your first choice black? Yes. Like, yes. First choice was only black. Only black. Black only on black. Black, yeah. black looks cool. Yeah, it does look cool. <laughs> yeah. Classy, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a pain in the ass to keep clean. Absolutely. As you can see. Yep. But, um, I have a black Ranger, I'm very aware. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll put this thing through the ringer, like I'm not yeah. that worried about it, as nah, you can see. As you can see. But yeah, from so originally I did purchase it uh, late 2015. Yep. And yeah, I've owned it ever since. Yeah. So what was it like towing that builder's trailer and everything like that? Loved it. Loved it. So I towed that builder's trailer for probably yeah. five and a half, six years. Yeah, because it's the five cylinder version, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so the five cylinder auto. Yeah. And they're, they're a pretty bulletproof machine. Yeah, they this, do have this one's, yeah. I mean, it's had lots of issues, but I've always fixed them, always yeah. been able to fix them. Yeah. And for what it is, got 216, 217,000 Ks on it. Yeah, unreal. And I've never had any major dramas. Yeah. I don't think they're dramas. Nah, a lot of the dramas I think are self-inflicted. They are. Yeah. They, it's a lot of lack of maintenance and things like that. Yeah, yeah. But I challenge myself and fix those things along the way. Yeah, which is cool. I really, <laughs> really admire that. That's yeah, unreal. So I'd like to have a crack at those sorts of things. Yeah. But yeah, as you can see, it's not your standard Ford Ranger. Nah, for sure. Well, let's go through it and have front a little back. look. Yeah, front to back. Talk me through, mate. What have we got? What mods have we got on here? Okay. So up front, um, yeah, I originally did that. Have the TJM Outback bar yeah, on yeah. there with side steps and rails and everything. Yeah, perfect. Um, I love that look, but as things evolved and you know things changed on it, I ended up with the Chaser bar, TJM. Yep. Yeah, um, so this is the Jacob bar. The Jacob bar. The Jacob bar. So we're lucky enough to have Jacob in the team. Yeah, so um, Jacob, Jacob's actually our engineering manager at Mitz Alloy and he was uh, integral in getting this bar to market yep. with TJM back in the so day. So that's pretty cool. Lucky to have him on the team now. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I really like this bar. As far as tube work bars, I reckon this is the nicest looking tube work bar on the market. Yeah, for especially sure. for the Ranger, yeah. like the PX series. Series. Yeah, this yeah. is, in my opinion as well, like the best looking bar. Yeah, it's got a great shape to it. Yeah. Follows the contours. You got unreal yeah. um, departure and approach. Although angles. it did just cop a huge beating on Greensbrake Road today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is all part of it. Um, yeah, and then in in underneath here, I've got the TJM torque winch. Yeah, and then you know covered it in lights and things. We've got steady light steady bar. Steady light. Yep. Yeah, um, up top on the roof rack as well. Yeah. Yeah. front runner roof rack. Yeah, you're not going to uh, be... Scared of the dark, they the say. Yeah. Or is the dark scared of me? Yeah, I think the dark's scared of you. Although, unfortunately for, for me... The tree falls in the woods, doesn't <laughs> yeah, make a noise, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, And then, of course, the GME Shorty Whip yep. and the XRS in the in the um, cab there. Yeah, the, the little, comms, yeah, the can't little, go wrong. No, nah, you really can't actually, they're brilliant. Yeah. Like we didn't have those, we just did the US tour and yeah. we didn't have GME stuff there. Yeah, and you could really tell the difference, eh? Hey? Yeah. So, yeah. Makes a big difference with comms. Yeah. Um, cool. And then I guess, while we're here, may as well pop the hood. Yeah, let's and have a little show look. everyone my schmozzle under there. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're gonna see how a chippy does 12 volt wiring. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to get involved in this because there's probably some secret catch and way of doing it. Look at this. Even the lights over here, they come up with it. Yeah, so they are uh, bullseye 4x4 four four brackets yep. for the lights there. And then... Does it come stock with gas struts? 
Yeah. That's a nice little mod, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Fun you know. thing that they forgot to put in the next gen. <laughs> they didn't put it in? No, they didn't oh. for some reason. I've only opened the bonnet once on that, <laughs> yeah. and that was to see if the engine was still in one piece. Yeah, yeah. well, let's not talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, underneath here, it is it is pretty standard, apart from my schmozzle, like I said. Yeah. Um, I've done a lot of wiring myself, but this is to be to be fixed up shortly. I've got a nice little panel from Millspec Design that's going in there. Yeah. That'll clean that all up. Magic. But in terms of engine mods and things like that, I only have the Ryko catch can and yep. pre-filter up there. I reckon those, uh, the catch cans on all the modern four drives are so important. Like Absolutely. You don't have them. Yeah, you gotta have them. Otherwise they just chew up the oil, and especially yeah. these things. Yeah. That, this motor was pretty renowned for spitting a bit of oil back through it. So. Yeah, so that helps out with that, and yeah. then, you know, you feel pre-filter. Yep. But I've got, I had a tune um, done by Legend X, oh, six years ago maybe. Yeah. And that's still going strong. Been Wouldn't reliable. know what the numbers are, but yeah, I just said to Barney, give me something that's reliable for towing. Sure. Just to, you know, I put a set of 35s on it, so I brought it back to driving it like a set of 33s. Yeah. And that's really about it. Big power is not what you're really chasing out of this thing. It's no, just it's reliability just, and yeah, all the rest good of it. Good torque. Yeah. I just, and it was made for towing yeah. originally, so that's what it's set up for. No. Nah. Uh, unreal. Yeah. And then shut this. And then just the TJM snorkel. The snorkel. That's about it. Let yeah. it breathe a bit better. Yeah, for sure. And then I do have a three inch exhaust from Legend X as well. All the way through. Yeah. Yeah. So got a muffler on it, so it's nice and legal. Yeah. It's yeah. not too loud either. I've seen this car, I've driven it a no. few times. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I don't want it to stand out any more than it needs to. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one less thing. <laughs> With a row of five steady lights yeah. across <laughs> the top, it could do the things. Right. Steelies on the big girl? I do, I've got a thing with steelies. I yeah. mean, we've got them on all the work trucks, don't we? I know, I'm, I, so do I. I do like the alloys, but of course, I, for me, I just like the tough look of a steely. Yeah. Yeah, and then wrapped in the Maxxis razors, yeah. three on fives, 75, 16s. I think, I think if you're not doing hard wheeling and don't need bead locks, but you're doing touring stuff, I yeah. think stillies are the go. Yeah. Like, because you can, you, you can, can get them, them anywhere. Into shape. You yep. can get them anywhere. Like, that's kind of why we've cheap. gone with that on all our work cars. Because yeah. you just want right. to be able to have the reliability. If something goes wrong, you can fix it. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's right. And I've popped the bead off the Land Cruiser one time down in the high country and just built it back into shape. Happy Send days. back in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, very good. And the tyres have been good, the Maxxis Razor. Yeah, I love those. They're quite aggressive looking tyre. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'd either be those or the Kumos that I'd run. Yeah. But yeah, pretty happy with these. Nah. Nice and grippy. I'm a big Kumos fan, but <laughs> always happy to hear it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, very good. And then you got to, what shocks are you running up under here? Well, mate, this looks like a hell of a setup in well, there. Well, this is not your standard suspension setup for any car, really. No. Nah. Um, yeah, so a lot of people do know this car for the core conversion that I've done. Yeah. But in the front, I run the um, Tough Dog UCAs with Fox 2.0. Yeah. Um, done by Solve and NTJM. Yeah. But um, yeah, Solve boys have tune these to suit. Yeah, yeah, sweet. And same as in the Next Gen Ranger. The yeah, yeah, those, that you've and got. those Fox ones are unreal. Yeah, they, beautiful. They ride really, really well. Yeah, this, yeah. Um, I'm all about the suspension setups. Yeah. So yeah, got the IFS in the front and then in the rear, we may as well go check out the rear. Ooh. That's a big thing. This is a big thing. This is a piece of resistance back here. Yeah. For a chippy that learnt to weld, <laughs> it's wild stuff. So I remember as yep. you going, I'm going to coil the rear end of my car. Yeah. And the word, the emphasis on I'm going to do it yeah. in my shed. Well, I did 90% of it. Yeah. But I did it over four days yeah. in the shed. Yeah. And um, I'm sure I've got a lot of footage like we can B-roll over this yeah, to show yeah, people sure. like the, the amount of work that actually went into this. So it's a superior core conversion, yep. superior engineering. Um, and yeah, all done in the shed. I literally stripped it back to the bare chassis yeah. from sort of halfway back, stripped back the diff as well. Yeah. And then I had a mate, Zach, come and help me weld it in. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't really know how to weld back then. But um It's could, one of those things where you kinda want someone that knows how to run a bit yeah, properly. That's right. <laughs> I could definitely do it now with the experience that I've 
you know, got. Yeah. But yeah, back then, a few years ago, I had no idea about welding. I, I honestly, it's something I probably wouldn't even undertake by myself. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd call in a professional to run. Yeah, feed that's that right. Good. And yeah, I could totally say that anybody thinking about doing something like this, yeah, pay the professionals to get it done. Yeah, <laughs> and they'll do it in a timely fashion. Yeah, but it is pretty wild. I went through about seven or eight nine sets of coils yeah. in the rear to get the right open length and closed length and sag yeah. and weight or like constant weight for it so they're a lovell's coil yep um and they're 450 kilo constants yeah and they scragged them down to a certain height yep. that i wanted so it would settle to just over two inches and those lovell coils they're actually wound here in newcastle yeah yeah, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Making springs so it was, in And it was right. nice and easy for me to just call Go up Reese and say, yeah. we need this, we need that. Yeah. So, yeah, and then I've also run in the Fox 2.0 yep. remote res. They're also um, fully valved to suit the weight of the car. Yeah. So they, this whole car just handles like a dream on and off road. Yeah, I've driven it. I've actually towed a pretty heavy trailer with this car yeah. in this setup and it went really well. Tows nice. Yeah. I think I'd, I'd with towing, I'd probably put some airbags in there. Yeah. Um, just in the course, just to pump them up. Yeah. So I think it'd be. Give it a, a little nicer. bit more stability. Yeah, yep. that's right. Yeah, but yeah. other than that, th this is, this car is what it's known for is that coil conversion, really. Yeah, yeah. And the suspension setup, it's been through a, a lot, this we poor girl. Yeah, we saw it flexing its way through it today, mate. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's really cool to drive this thing. So it's twin locked in the front. Yep. We've got the Harrop um, E locker in the front there. So, um, yeah, so twin lock 35s, just an animal off road, like yeah. I saw today. But it's such a fun car. 35 is a good sized tire on the Ford Ranger. On this, yeah, yeah. They don't look too big. No. Nah. Um, and they, they are better off road as well. And they fit fit pretty nice. Yeah. You yep. don't have to do too much. It's about right offset. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's about it, really. Yeah, very good. The Legend X exhaust tucks up nice up under there, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. And then a couple more steady diffused lights on the back here, cube lights, just to hooked up to into the reverse light. So oh, yeah, I can leave my windows up with the tinting at night and yeah, yeah. reverse. Which is I've good. got we've got those on the on the um on the Land Cruiser. Yeah. And it just that. illuminates everything. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, you gotta have some, some yeah. good light in the back there. Absolutely. Yeah. No, very, very good. So you've had a couple of iterations with setups. You had a tub to start with. Tub, yep. Tub and canopy. Yeah. With a cheap setup in the back there. Yeah. Um, which has worked really well for what I was doing. Yeah. Just a, a slide fridge and slide some drawers. Fridge and some drawers and, and that. And then it evolved. And this is now how I work at Mitello because yeah, yeah. Timmy was <laughs> yeah. grateful enough yeah to sponsor me yeah. my first package and we worked out um yeah i was a brand brand ambassador for mitts yeah yeah yeah. i had the 1650 and the 1400 canopy yeah you did too which actually. was awesome yeah yeah so that evo one generation you had the shorter yep. canopy on the shorter tray that we had for the dual cabs yeah drop slide single drawing table and that was about it inside yeah and a and a drive setup drive setup yeah that one yeah cool but yeah now i've got the evo two on the back here yeah with the metery yeah so, which is my favorite setup. Yeah, yeah. I actually really like this setup too. Yeah. I've had this on the cars that we've had at work a few times. And I like this bit of tray space. Yeah, it's so back. handy. Yeah. I'm always going to the hardware shop or somewhere like that. And yeah. Firewood, bags of concrete, all sorts of random Absolutely. stuff in the back there. So it's such a handy space on the back there. Yeah, I've got tin lids. So I'm always putting <laughs> yeah. push bikes and prams and all sorts of stuff yeah, on there the back. You go. So that's good. It's always yeah, something. Yeah. Put the peewees in the back. Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> what it is. Oh, very good. So, um, uh, what's in this one now that you've got? You've got the metery. Yeah. Yeah. So if we swing around here. This is your driver's side. Driver's side. Ah, lovely. It's all stacked up at the moment. I've got Harry's camera gear. Yeah. <laughs> There's always camera gear in these cars. There is always <laughs> camera gear in our cars. Camera gear everywhere. And this so, is how Azza lives with his one. Unbelievable. Yeah, I've Look. literally just mocked up the same out of the Land Cruiser. Yeah. That we both live out of. So much cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. So there's plenty of stuff yeah. in here. Lives out of his car so much tidier than out of our car. Well, this hasn't been used yeah, as much, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we've been in that car so much. But single drawing table. Yeah. Um, and then same, like, 
going on the four drive 24 7 trips i literally yeah. take these so these crash pad cases yeah. are mine and i just swap them between the two ah, schmick. um they just sit on the drawers better there. than my plastic tub arrangement yeah. eh? like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. no nah, they're good and That's then um the yeah. 600 mil drop shelf and i keep a chair up here the other one's in my shed at the moment yeah but this this setup is what i mirror imaged basically off the Land Cruiser when I set the metery up yep. to go away up to the gla um, yeah, Glasshouse Mountains yep. last year. Yeah, so, sick. And I think that's just an ultimate, for me, it's the ultimate setup. It's only me and Beck that are out of this car. Yeah, yeah. So. In, it's a good short trip car too. Like this size here, it'd yeah. be a bit tougher to live out of for a long period of time. Yeah, for a couple of people. It's all right. Yeah, but. Uh, one, like living away on your own, you can do a week, two weeks, no worries. Yeah. But to, with the trips that I do in this car, it's a lot of weekender stuff. So this yeah. is heaps. And then that does also bring me to the rear seat delete that I've done. So I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of extra space. So, so as a, the rear seat delete, mate. Yeah. This but, is a small dream of mine, actually. It's so handy. Yeah. I don't have any kids. Yeah, yeah. And Beck did tell me originally, um, when I thought of this idea, I was like, I'm ripping the seats out. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. She said, what about all the people? I'm like, I don't want people coming with me. Yeah. So it's gonna be me and you. Yeah. And this is just gonna make our life easier. So, yeah. and it has, and it's been like this for six years or something like that. Really? Yeah, uh, so I just, Jimmied up this box in the in the shed at home. Carpentry life. Yeah, chippy life. And then that just takes a couple of these tubs. And you know, Beck might have one or Bob, and we share yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's made to suit that. We put food and everything. And that just That's slides. actually it's actually perfect. Yeah. Pairing that with a meter, it makes perfect. Yeah, sense. so I've got I haven't lost any space. No, you really have fourteen hundred to a meter yeah. meter. You're kind so, of living in a single cab. I'm living in a single cab. Yeah, with a that's, boot. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So like, yeah, throw all your gear up the top there. As you yeah. can see, we've got more camera gear up there. Is that an EPIRB in there? Yeah, I've got an EPIRB. I just thought it'd be fun to put an EPIRB in there. And yeah. I've got another PLB, a GME one in there. So yeah. it's, a, it's a marine one that's set up if I, if, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. I think, I do think it's one of those things that you should have in every car. I think Personal so Personal safety. Yeah. You know, if someone rolled their car in the middle of the high country, yeah. you can flick a switch and someone's coming to look coming to get us yeah 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 that's really cool <laughs> yeah it's pretty handy and then just behind here i've even got a machete just in case yeah the <laughs> zombie apocalypse yeah so that's in there just I gave myself tennis elbow using those yeah yeah cutting just for mobile, chopping right? down <laughs> vines and stuff yeah perfect on the tracks yeah so. unreal and then up the top i actually really love this this is the front runner roof rack yeah and it's got the table got the table up there we've actually had a couple of cheese platters back oh yeah we have myself on this thing yeah so that comes all the way out how good is that yeah you know it's one like a table's one of those things where they're a very hard item to store when you're camping they really are and um my mate chris had one on his car yeah and i was just like where the hell do I get one of those? Yeah. So, have I done yeah. that right? No. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. And that just stays up there and then treads on top. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and simple. They're actually really clever. They're yeah. brilliant. Yeah. So, I used to use that a lot when I was building, have it out for plans and lunch with the boys and that. So, it has had a lot of use. Yeah. I don't <laughs> doubt it. I always wonder where you're going to put a table. Like, it's yeah. nice to have the single drawing table, but yeah. sometimes just to sit yeah, down over there, up. you don't lose space for them. Yeah. That's cool. So, yeah, front run, I thought of that. It's genius. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Very clever. Oh, yeah. Should we keep moving around? Yeah, for sure. Show me around the other side. So, you got the builder's rack on the back here as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always throwing stuff up there. Ladders rack. And yeah, then you and got... the good thing about the multi rack on the meter is I've got the 180 watt solar panel built in between them oh yeah we'll put an inlaid in there oh we so do that a lot at work yeah. yeah so you can Slide still use over the top yeah use the racks as racks yeah and then you know got the rubber mat in there and some Mats cargo and cargo track, track. Just that, you strap. can't really go past the cargo track no, I reckon that's handy. Unreal. i've yeah. usually got a, a tub that i put in here as well i keep cooking gear more yeah. cooking gear and stuff like that yeah yeah and then the this is a work in progress at the moment the draw the draw yeah, yeah. Which is mainly carrying, see, the ultimate Ford Ranger repair kit for full driving. <laughs> so the only things you need is a big rattle gun, 
just a small rattle gun just in case, an angle grinder for chopping CVs out, a couple of tie rods, 36 mil socket, and two CVs, and, and a socket set and a screwdriver and so <laughs> yeah the ford ranger for driving repair kit yeah it really is and everything a couple in of it. big shifters that is a solid shifter yeah, actually yeah. i haven't seen one like well, since the mining days the cv out mate yeah give me a little trick so yeah, yeah this is a work yeah. in progress i'm using all the front runner um foam dividers and this will all be yeah these are quite up. clever these actually yeah. aren't they? so once i've sorted that out yeah everyone will know about it because it's going to look like a yeah it'll be a masterpiece yeah yeah very good dude And then up here, standard 30 litre water tank. Yep. Yep. With the tap up the front. Yeah. And then on this side, I really like this setup. This is good. Yeah, this is, uh, I think it's a quite a good use of space, what we've done in here. Yeah, yeah, you have actually. You've maximised every square yeah. inch of this <laughs> thing, haven't you? So the Red Arc Ultimate System, mm -hmm. 2000 watt inverter, 200 amps of power. Yeah. Two, yeah, 2000 watt inverter, like I said. Yeah. Um, 85 litre upright fridge. They're my favourite. That's so good. So easy. Like I said, we haven't used this car much yeah because i've been out in that thing so much yeah in the land cruiser yeah the one in the land cruiser and how's the pantry to live with in the land cruiser yeah. you, i can't live without it now yeah it you can fit so much stuff in there yeah, just sick. um yeah so it makes life easy and then speaker up there echo yeah. x gear yeah just i just because of the fridge cage, I yeah. had it mounted to the old one, but yeah. um, I just got some steel from Bunnings, painted it up and bent it up, and that just is tucked into the uni strut up there. Dude, that's so, unreal. That's yeah. a great little fit, actually. Yeah, so it just folds up, just bent it up in the vise and painted it. Bushed off special. Yeah, that's right. You can't go wrong with a bit of music here in the bush. No. Nah. And then, you know, in my, I, I don't have a compressor at the moment, but, just a few bits and pieces in here in the toolboxes. Yeah, I haven't really set it up. To Yours are nice and be. sealed, your boxes. Yeah, he does. <laughs> here, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, very, very good. Shovel mount. Shovel. Nice, tidy little lightweight awning too. Yeah, just running you this one. You don't need too moment. much, I reckon, in awnings. You no. can get a bit overkill sometimes. That's I right. I just reckon smaller, smaller or lighter, better. But usually, oh, like on the Land Cruiser, I've camping. I've it had a um. The 270 only, I never even use it because I'm too short <laughs> to get to it. So I was like, they are a bit of a hassle sometimes. Yeah, the even just this to roll is in pushing it for me, really. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you need a step ladder. Yeah, it gets annoying. I can't lift my arm that high today. Ah, very good. All right, as oh, anything right. else, mate. You know, what's it look like in the cockpit here? In the cockpit, it's got your com switches. Com. I run a scan gauge too up there. Yeah, because with these sort of cars, um, especially on the Ranger. I like yep. to watch everything. So I've got EGT, exhaust temps, yep. um, boost gauge up the yep. front there on the pillar pod. Yep. And then I'll watch my coolant temp, my intake temp, yep. trans temp, yep. everything. Making sure all it's temps, all staying. Making sure I've got enough battery power so my alternator is charging. Yep. But yeah, keep it pretty simple and a red arc tow pro in there as well. Yeah, for cool. All the towing. Yeah. But other than that, there's nothing special about there. It's still filthy. Lots of redhead sand in there. Yeah, perfect. From the dog, but this is what it is. Dude, it's unreal. It's a solid rig, hey? Yeah. This... When you stop and look at it, I see it every day, but I'm like, nah, oh, yeah. It is a and beast. And you actually stop and look at it, it's a and, beast. And even doing Greensbrake Road today, yeah. well, I forgot how capable it is. Yeah. It's such a good car. Because it's very slightly, super... like the average dual cab straight out of the showroom is actually super capable. Yeah, yeah. But then ab you just mod absolutely. them up just a little bit and they become yeah. weapons. Yeah, that's really. right. <laughs> so as I, what would be your favorite mod on this whole vehicle? On this whole thing, the, the best thing that I did to this was the front locker. Yeah. 100%, that changed the way this whole car drove yeah. off-road. Yeah. And you can, you know, push it a bit further and drive yeah. some tracks that... You normally you, wouldn't. Yeah. 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 No, I agree. And go, oh, I don't know about that one, but this point and shoot now. Front locker, I, I think, goes on any car. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've for all sure. for the front locker. Yeah, yeah, perfect. But other than that, like, yeah. I wouldn't, as it sits right now, yeah. is how I've specifically chosen every mod to make it what it is right now. Yeah. And so I wouldn't change would you anything. wouldn't change anything? No, as Nothing. it sits right now, yeah. I think is my 
for this vehicle. The world, it becomes the world's best Ford Ranger yeah, in your this opinion. this is how it becomes, yeah, became the world's best Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I made one joke about it on Instagram and it's, and it's a funny thing. Stuck, and it stuck for a little it? bit. It's stuck. It's I'm not sure a little there's, bit. There's... It's been like 12 or 18 yeah. months of this whole thing. There's a running gag in our office and yeah. it's like the world's best Ford Ranger and yeah. then we build a Ranger and it's pretty flash. Yeah. But I don't know. Second best Ranger. Second best Ranger. Nah, but like as it is right now, I wouldn't change anything. This is, if I was to tell someone to build, how would you build a Ranger? Mm. This a PX, this yeah. is how I'd say this is what you do. Yeah. Maybe don't do the coils if it's not your thing yeah yeah um as a leaf setup you can definitely set a leaf setup awesome in these as well yeah for sure but yeah that's a big undertaking that coil setup <laughs> so i can definitely understand what you've yeah, gone with yeah there. it's not a small job no no and would you do it would you do it again the leaf the coil conversion no i wouldn't really i I probably, these are designed as a leaf sprung car. Yeah. And I do think they drive far better. Yeah. But there's a lot of things that you have to do on that coil conversion yeah. to make it perfect for this car. And I've I've gone through the process yeah. to get it where it needs to be. Yeah, and it's a big learning curve because yeah. there's not a lot of people doing it, I guess. No, so there's like, not. There's the, the, how much information can you get? Yeah, so Superior understand. done an awesome job to get it where it was. Yeah. And then I just had to tweak it. To but you've got to tune work. everything up so because it's got yeah, weight on the back, of the obviously, weight, yeah. and all the different bits and pieces. That's right. Well, it's, in, it's interesting because like Ford employs thousands of engineers to design things yeah. and design cars, and then we decide that they deserve to, to have them. other things <laughs> on them. So, yeah, I get... I I get where you're coming from there. So, Azza, yeah, you obviously were a chippy, yeah, and then you've left being a chippy to work with Mitts. You yeah. you were doing the Instagram and YouTube thing before, yeah, Mitts. before Mitts, yeah, so and the side hustle thing that I yeah. enjoyed doing, yeah, 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 and, and uh, doing it full time, sort of at Mitts, yeah, looking after all the socials and marketing and stuff like that, yeah, yeah, bit of an odd change. Yeah, for sure. Commun <laughs> community manager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the joke. But um, so what inspired the change? Why did you want to get away from being a chippy and doing and going into this? Yeah, good question. I had enough of being a chippy. Yeah, I copy that. Coming yeah. home sore as yeah, and tired and grumpy. Um, yeah, Beck was off it. Yeah, and I was off it, and yeah, had a bit of a panic attack on a building site, and then one day I said, "That's enough." Yeah, and called Harry, who's behind the camera at the moment. Yeah, and yeah. said, "I need a job." Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> and so I mentally I'd already checked out of being a um, yeah chippy. Yeah, and fortunately I had well not training, but I've. I taught myself how to edit and do all that sort of stuff. So yeah, yeah I get a lot of people slide into my DMs, you yeah. know, blokes that are like, oh, I'm a chippy and how did you get out of it? Yeah. But you gotta have a plan yeah. and some sort of backup, which I yeah. had. Yeah, yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Not really, but I had something where I, I figured I could, I had some value, so. Yeah, and you found you found something you were passionate about and went, you yeah. know, I'm gonna have a crack at that. Yeah, that's right. I can, re I can relate heavily, because I was a plant mechanic in the yeah. mines before we started doing all this sort of stuff yeah that's right and it was a it was not a bad job yeah. it was just big days and lots of night shifts and it was pretty bloody miserable to be completely yeah, honest yeah yeah and you just get to the point where you go oh, i'm gonna make a change yeah and it's not always about a money change is it either it's no. like no it's a lifestyle, lifestyle thing. changes is yep. probably the biggest thing yeah so and the opportunities have been yeah. forthcoming because yeah. you're open to them, I guess. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. it's been pretty good for me. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. I'd say. Yeah, it's I've been had really a, I've good. Had a pretty good run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can go have some more kids, Tim, so you yeah, can yeah, do more yeah, trips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're getting in Stacey's ear. Yeah. <laughs> dear, but, dear. No, nah, that's, that's unreal. I, and, I, and I'm a big advocate for that. I think anyone that's willing to like get out of their comfort zone, oh, completely crack. change their life up to do what they want to do. Yeah. Yeah, you've got go to think, for it. yeah, and be realistic about it. Yeah. Don't go, oh, I'm just going to quit and do this and expect yeah. it's going to work from day one. Yeah, the cash set will start you, rolling in. Set yourself up and then have a yeah. crack. Yeah, luckily, yeah. luckily I was in that position where I was set up. Yeah in the back end so i couldn't be able to do it so like but when you were doing you doing the youtube stuff which you still do yeah 
how much work goes into that in the back end? Because I don't think, <laughs> Pete, can you please explain? Because I know yeah. a lot of young kids at work go, I want to do what As does. And yeah. I was like, I don't think you got the ticker. <laughs> no, it's, a lot, it's a lot of hard work. A lot of people don't realize that it's like three times the amount of work, yeah. especially if you're doing it on your own. Yeah. So, you know, I, I was, especially when I was a chippy, yeah. I was building all day. Yeah. And then every minute that I had, spare i'd be out filming and then you know you're out creating content in the bush or whatever it might be fishing yeah, yeah. and then you've got to film it yourself and then edit it again yeah yeah and then try and make something out of it and it's a lot of hard work yeah and a lot of people don't realize that's all unpaid work you're unpaid doing that work. because you because enjoy you like, it like and you like work. it yeah and you're like oh, i enjoy people getting a thrill out of this content and yeah, that's right. making the content yeah i can't i don't i don't possess that skill set <laughs> yeah, like yeah. i just would drive me yeah your attention insane. span <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah my attention span and just my <laughs> yeah. ability to write back to dms would yeah. just drive me <laughs> yeah. mental you yeah. know i think you've got to be a certain sort of person to be able to do it yeah perfect but Congrats, mate. I'm stoked for you. Thanks, mate. I'm I do love it. I've missed it. driving this car. Yeah. It's been 12 months since I've wheeled it, at yeah. least. And it's a fun car. Yeah. It's sick. It handles rad. Yeah. yeah. It flexes like a I was actually a little bit jealous because you were a bit lower than me today. <laughs> yeah. and I hadn't been in that car for a while and it was a bit... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you just can't remember where the tipping point is for a few hours. You're yeah, like, oh, yeah. Right. It's just yeah. here. That's where it is. <laughs> so... No, nah, very good, man. Unreal. Anyway. Well, congrats on everything. Congrats on all your success, dude. I really... Thanks, mate. Yeah. Stoked for you. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, cheers. You're on your present. Anyway, I guess that's it, eh? That's it. If you want to know anything else about the car, what to do, what not to do... Yeah. <laughs> drop them in the comments below. Yeah, please. I'll let... Yeah, if you want to razz on it for being the world's best ranger, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of fun. He's got, he's got the skin of... He's got a, big he's got shoulders. A, he's got a heart of a ball. <laughs> or, or the other one, in a, you know, with a whip on two on it. But, yeah, no, he's got thick skin, so, yeah, he can definitely take a bit of a razzing, that's yeah. for sure. But what's your favourite mod you've done to your ranger? Yeah. Rangers in the comments. Should I change anything else on this? Yeah. Let me know. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Cheers. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I certainly did. <laughs>